So we offer two types of food. Which... So the information desk is a So we offer two types of food, which is daily snacks and uh, weekly shopping. So basically, daily snacks and like all students can come here and get either a drink, uh, some chips or burritos, soups or whatever we have available. And we also offer weekly shopping. For weekly shopping, it's only once a week. We offer like um, eggs, milk chicken, uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, we also have like canned food, uh, soups, and like uh, more stuff. I think this is very he helpful for all students because uh, even though like some students uh, they live by themselves, they don't have like, uh, they don't live with their parents so they have to maintain like, like a budget so this is like a perfect way to support them. Uh, like in my perspective, it helps. Okay, me so the the, um, the student health services, all the students so, uh, pay a student health fee, like which covers some of the stuff, services that we provide here, but not all of the services. We have a physician that's on staff, and she sees patients by appointments on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and we have clients that come in that are have medical coverage under the FAMPAC program. And they can see the doctor for well women and sexually transmitted infection testing and um, pregnancy. So the information desk is uh, offers a variety of services. Uh, first is the student ID card. So if students need their student ID, um, this is where you would come with your proof of copy of registration to get that. Also our VTA e EcoBus passes, they're able to get them here. Um, but pretty much any question that you have, if you need to know where to find a classroom, where to find a, a department, if you're looking for someone, uh, definitely here would be the check-in. Also, we offer uh, student tours. Um, so tours for, per for students that are thinking about coming here. Um, this is where they check in to go on those tours. Our ambassadors have been trained to talk about any other services that we offer here on the campus. Um, but just general, any question that you have, students come here with questions about registration, um, troubleshoot their uh, single sign-on, um, and about events. There's a lot of different questions that come through here, but we're able to direct them to the correct location if we're not able to help them here. We are the SAS, which stands for Student Accessibility Services. And um, the one way you can use our service is if you have a verification of disability. That's how we, um, we intake our students, with an application and a VOD, which is short for Verification of Disability. We offer specialized counseling, note-taking services, um, interpreters, um, education plans. Um, we also help with transfers to four-year universities, um, with assistive technology and note-takers, amongst other services. Students ask for more than one service. So uh, the general service is counseling, but with our counseling comes specialized services. So yes, our students ask for more than one service. So here at the SAS, your verification of disability can look like a few things. It can look like an IEP, um, a 504 plan, or it can look like um, something like a, like a letter from a medical professional. So uh, sometimes the disability isn't, uh, isn't visible necessarily, like for example, somebody in a wheelchair. Sometimes uh, disability can be something like a learning disability, which you can't see.